When I say that I'm going to do something every week, I am going to stick to that until I can't stand it anymore. I have not reached that part. Well, let's see. How do I look? I look all right. Yeah, cool. All right. I stick with the plan until I don't. And I haven't reached that point yet. So, welcome to episode two of Marga Gomez's Hump Day News. Or I don't really have an exact title yet. I'm still working at it. I think the hump was very distracting for people that don't know that Wednesday is hump day. And that is when I look at the news of the week so far and then um, kind of just ponder it and spew it back at you. I haven't done any of that. I haven't really looked at the news this week. Um, it's been so hot. It's, it's a heat wave in San Francisco. All I did was go to an air-conditioned movie theater to see the longest movie playing, which is happens to be Inception. I think it's like like four or five hours long. I don't know because I fell asleep, so it might have been two years. I was dreaming. Um, if you have not seen Inception, then uh, fast forward the next 20 seconds. Uh, here's what happens in Ince Inception. Uh, Leo DiCaprio, who is looking as cute as a little pug dog, he um, is uh, one of the people who can architect their dreams. So he and uh, these other people, they all go to sleep together uh, with their clothes on and then they, they have the same dream and then they build and they create whatever they want to happen in the dream, uh, which is apparently large buildings, um, a, a ski slope, um, a bridge and, and, and a van that they drive over and fall over the bridge and these are the things that they go to all the trouble with the with the special injection and the, and the scientific mumbo jumbo to create dreams where they don't have sex? What? Again, I don't even know if uh, if I'm dreaming still because I fell asleep during Inception, which is scary. I I may I I may not be awake at all. I may have just fallen asleep on top of the stove. Speaking of the heat wave, um, brings me to my second and final news item of Hump Day news. Uh, there was a distressing trend in uh, the Castro district. You can go out now during this heat wave at night or even in the daytime and find yourself walking alongside a naked man, or two naked men, or a naked man family. Um, there are new naked men in the Castro. Now, I remember, uh, oh, like uh, about a year ago, uh, the original naked men. Uh, these were guys that, uh, for some reason or other, felt the need to go out in the Castro uh, naked uh, in the winter, in the winter. That's dedication. These nouveau naked men today, please, Okay, sure, anybody can go naked when it's 95 degrees, of course. Where were you, new naked guys, in, in the winter? Where were you in the fog, huh? Are, are you f fulfilling some sort of need in the community? I don't think so, because new naked guys, let me tell you, I've seen you, and um, I try to be fair and tolerant, but you're not people who would ever be paid to be naked in publication or or by an escort service at best you're naked volunteers and nobody needs you i mean maybe read to the blind i suppose because they can't see what's happening here that is my news for august 25th 2010 uh there's a heat wave too many uh, naked guys in the castro with who aren't uh, licensed to be naked and uh, Inception to have some coffee before it. Okay, um, that's been the news. Uh, well, I guess my version of the news. Uh, next week I'm going to try to have more of a popular version of the news with facts and uh, maybe world events. Uh, so uh, come, come back next week. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for watching. That's enough.